Hey, it's the Wanderer guys, and if you're here from last time, you may have noticed that I'm still stuck in Waitrose. Don't worry, <laughs> I haven't been here for a few days. I just had a quick brainstorm, you know, very, very quick brainstorm that I'm still hungry. I have a breakfast to review, uh, so why not? go to Tesco right now. Uh, so yeah, let's do it guys. It's going to be a Tesco full English breakfast. At least I know Tesco do do a full English breakfast. So I'm going to make my way there now, guys. I'd like you to come and join me on the journey. We're going to start from Waitrose, end up at Tesco, hopefully get food. I'm hungry, guys. This, <laughs> this, um, you know, this is obviously from the other day for you guys. Uh, so I do appreciate you sticking around and, um, yeah, doing what you can to support the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you do want to see more of this kind of stuff, guys, where I review more breakfast, more food, more hidden gems across the country, and so on and so forth, do hit the subscribe button and hit the like on this one to get the video spread out there. It really, really does help. I'm the Wanderer, guys. Tesco. Every little helps. Let's make a move. Hi there, you're right. Can I just go for the um, the breakfast and uh, this bottle of Coke, please? Thank you. That's lovely. That's lovely. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers. That's brilliant. Cheers. Alright then guys, so I'm seated, I've ordered the big breakfast and the bottle of coke as always. Uh, breakfast itself came to a very good £4.80, which I believe is the cheapest of the three that we've done so far. Service, lady was very smiley, very very pleasant, just said the price, gave me the, um, gave me the cutlery. I think first time I didn't have to grab my own cutlery and the uh, table number as well, so they're going to look out for my number and plant that here. As I say, very smiley, very friendly, said the price, actually gave me communication, which Asda, you could learn something from. Service though, again, uh, sort of like the Morrisons, it was just what you'd expect. It wasn't above and beyond. I give it a three on the service because, yeah, she was smiley, she was friendly. Actually thinking about it, I'm going to bump it up to a four actually, because she was really smiley, really friendly, and you know, she's like, can I help you please? And I says that, you know, oh, four pound, four pound, eight, 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 seven pound, whatever it was with the coke. So, no, very, very friendly, friendly lady, I think. I'm initially a three on four, but I thought, no, no, she actually smiled, she actually looked like she wanted to be here, to be fair. So, yeah, we're going to bump the service up to a four. It's a good start for you, Tesco's. And just like in Asda, I didn't get a receipt, although I do think she actually scrunched it up and threw it. But I've just checked my bank app, and the purchase was made at 10 past one, uh, which was four minutes ago. So the countdown started at 10 past one. Let's see what time the food arrives. Thankfully, though, it doesn't look like it's instant. So I've already got high hopes. OK, 
Okay then guys, well it's arrived, the time is 20 past 1, which means it actually came in 10 minutes, and Tesco has a 5 star time. Once again, I didn't tell them to take away the toast, that's my fault, I will not be touching the toast, don't like toast, but before I go into it, let's have your eyes on it. Right then guys, so presentation wise, just like Asda, does look like it was done with a fair bit of care, everything's in the right place, it's on a decent looking plate, the beans aren't in one of those horrible little tubs, I think just like Asda, I'm willing to give it a 4 to be honest, I am willing to give it a 4 on the presentation, so you already like only need 4 on the rest of it, like we got a 5 on the time, 4 on the presentation, 4 on the service, you've already overtaken Asda, and I haven't eaten it yet. So let's uh, <laughs> let's change that then, shall we? So let's go into um, some beans first. Now those are definitely Heinz. I know I made the mistake with Asda last time. Those are definitely Heinz. Okay, let's go for a bit of hash brown here. Solid hash brown, doesn't break on me. Possibly the best of the three so far. Didn't break on me, wasn't too crunchy, stayed together, had a lot of taste. Really enjoyed that. Tomato, let's devour the tomato. Oh, I was gonna do my usual and say tomato the tomato, but that was really soft. Not a tinned one though, but. Mm. Heated though. It brought out the flavour. Heated tomato. Really enjoyed that. Okay, bit of bacon. Bacon's very soft. I don't know if you saw that. Let me just move the sausage out of the way a second. Bacon was very soft. It sort of broke there, but let's go into it. Mmm. Okay. I like where this is going. Bacon was soft. It wasn't crispy, but it packed a flavour. I mean, I mean, just give that a look. I don't know. It's if it's to your liking. From this angle, it looks really good. And lastly, the sausage. Oh, it's a tough one. Okay, looks good. Let's see if it's. Oh yeah. Okay. This is a winner so far. This is a winner. Let's uh try a little bit of this egg as well. Oh, I love that. Crispy on the bottom too. Mm. Oh man. I'm gonna finish the rest of this in time lapse. Get back to you in the car and review it. I think we should get back to the car and review that, but I can tell you right now, it's a good one. Well guys, I was going to go out and review it in the car, but I just discovered this sort of place uh, just outside the Tesco here. Um, it looks really, really calm, peaceful, and you know, you've got your little, um, little canal boats, nice little river here. I never knew this was here actually, so I'm actually just going to chill and review it here, if I may. It's only going to be very brief because 
there's not much else I can say. It was good. Uh, so we were sitting on a five star time. It came in eight minutes, but I don't think it was definitely instant. It was just cooked as soon as it was uh, asked to be prepared. The service, like I say, I bumped it up purely because the lady, yeah, she gave me the usuals, like the lady in Morrison's did, but unlike the lady in Morrison's, she was doing it with a smile, she was a very, very, she, she came across as a very, very bubbly person. I feel like if she was asking me questions about my day or anything like that, or how, you know, how life's been, you probably would have been bumped up to a five without real customer care, but at the very least, it was very happy, very smiley, and I really, you know, um, I bumped it up from a three to a four, four because as I say, it was the usuals, but it was done in a nice way, it, you know, it was done in a really nice way. The presentation was the same as Asda's, in my opinion, all the bits were in the right places, so the presentation got a four as well. But now we're only here now for the taste. It's better than the Morrisons, <laughs> easily better than the Asda. I mean, it was an egg that wasn't a dog toy, let's be honest. And, and the rest of it was good. Sausage packed a lot of it. I mean, I, I don't know, I think I could just say the same thing about all of it. Everything on that plate packed flavor. But I don't think it was five out of five. It wasn't, it didn't blow me away. I've had things, now for the price, £4.80, I mean, wow, you know, you'd come here all the time. But it didn't blow me away. When you have food that absolutely blows your head off your shoulders, that's a five star. But Tesco's, I mean, it was the best of the supermarket bunch. I know there are better ingredients out there for, um, you could make your own if you get the highest quality, you'd probably be paying more. But I think the taste, I'm going to have to give that a very, very good four as well. So we're just going to see how good my brain is now and do some quick maths. We got a five on the time, we got a four on the service, we got a four on the presentation, that's your 13. And now you got another four on the taste. That's 17 out of 20. Just a few points away from perfect, but I don't think we're going to get a supermarket full English that's going to score higher than Tesco. So absolutely very well done. Would recommend. Takes the lead in the supermarket full English showdown. And we've got a couple more to go. Now I need to find out if M&S do a full English, but I'm pretty sure Sainsbury's do. So Sainsbury's is probably going to be my next. With that being said, guys, the wind's just about to pick up. I'm the Wanderer. Please do like and subscribe and click the bell to be notified on future uploads. And until next time, bye for now. Maybe it's time I need glasses because on a couple occasions there I said the breakfast was £4.80 and I just looked back at the menu just to be sure and it was £4.60 which is 20p less. Absolutely fantastic. £4.60 for that. Asda, you should be ashamed. Tesco, I mean, absolutely well done. I would definitely do it again. Thanks guys.